We welcome you on Brookdale TV for another baseball doubleheader, the Jersey Blues and the Ocean Vikings. This afternoon, as we are about set for the first pitch to be thrown by Christian Kress, from the stretch he deals, it's swung on, lifted out to right field, but right there's Nick Lavarco, and he makes the catch. One pitch, one out. Tom DeMarco retired quickly. So one fast out, Carl Barth will be next for the Vikings, who come into play, a record of 7-4, and four, playing good baseball of late on a current winning streak. First pitch to Barth, batting left, and it's off the glove of Lamira. Ball one. Barth is the starting right fielder for Ocean County. Winners of four consecutive games. They started three and four. But a four-game winning streak has moved them to seven and four for the year. This ball's hit hard on a hot, nice pickup by Colbert at second. He throws and got him. So a hard hit ball from Barth, but Colbert made a nice play, and there are two away. Rest of the Brookdale defense, we've seen Colbert and Lavarco. Rest of the outfield, they've got Schmidt, Smith with Lavarco. On the infield, it's Bresniak and Serrano on the left side. Colbert and Cole are on the right side. And Luca Lamira does the catching for Kraus, who deals the first pitch breaking ball strike to the batter, A.J. Pearson. Two out bases empty, just underway. Pearson with a crouch stance from the right side. He has a half swing, and it's a strike anyway. Nothing in two. Krause looking for a fast opening inning. He's two-thirds of the way there. Working from the stretch exclusively. His next pitch, high and away, a ball and two strikes. Pearson coming off quite a game his last time out. He had six hits and six at-bats. So he's now the region's leading hitter in terms of batting average, but he waves and misses strike three. Good opening inning for Kraus. He gets him in order. Now Brookdale coming to bat. No score. Uh, my name is Shane Andrews. I'm from Oceanport, New Jersey, and I'm a business major. I'm Angela Friend from Raritan High School, and I'm an art major. My name is Dan Coles. I'm with the Colesac High School. I'm a psych major, and I came here because it's close to my house. My name is Angelo Friend. I'm from Raritan High School. I'm an art major, and I came here because it's the best place to play baseball. My name is Jules Conti. I'm from St. Rose High School. I'm a marketing major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Brookdale coming up against the left-hander Luke Corcoran for the Ocean Vikings. And it'll be the usual leadoff man, Ryan Schmidt, to get it started. Batting right-handed, he's a switch hitter, so he turns around against the left-hander Corcoran. Now is into the windup for his first pitch, and Schmidt takes it, ball one. It'll be Schmidt, Lavarco, Bresniak, the usual top three in the Brookdale order. Start play at 18 and one for the season. Had been undefeated for most of the way. Is the 1-0 pitch taken a called strike, one and one. They had won 16 in a row before their first loss to start the Salem series. But came back and won the last two of that, so they're 18 wins, one defeat. Pitch granted foul. Coming off quite a wild affair here on Saturday afternoon. They outlasted Salem 14 to 10. But had a big lead, let it get away, and then scored late in the game to secure the victory. On one, two, Schmidt swings and lines it towards center field and down for a base hit. So he takes the turn around first and holds with a leadoff single. Now Nick Lavarco coming up. We'll check out the defense for Ocean. In the outfield, they have Gallipoli, DeMarco, and Barth. On the infield, it's Quartnick and Hill, Renzi and Ushik around the diamond, and A.J. Pearson doing the catching. So Corcoran now from the stretch to Lavarco with the first pitch fastball finds the outside part of the plate, and a called strike one. Lavarco making sure that 
pitch got the corner and home plate umpire says yes. And the 0-1 pitch. Marco hits one out of play, nothing in two. Umpires today, Sean Trice has the plate and Anderson Sanchez is on the bases. No score, bottom one. Brookdale and Ocean. First of two today on an overcast afternoon. Nothing in the way of sunshine. And the 0-2 pitch. Schmidt takes off. Pitch runs up and in. Throw to second is a good one, and he's safe. Well, Pearson couldn't have made a better throw. He fired one right on the money, but Schmidt got a good jump, and he steals the base. That's his seventh successful steal in eight tries for the leadoff hitter. So he's in scoring position. LaBarca will try to bring him in for the game's first run. And Nick watches the breaking ball off the plate. Two and two. Bresniak, another power hitter. He waits on deck. LaVarco, power hitter at the plate. Tied for the region lead in home runs. As he's hit seven out of the park this year. Corcoran's ahead of him, 0-2. And, and LaVarco stays in there with a bouncer foul. And Nick comes in, 460 with the batting average, 24 runs batted in to go along with those seven home runs. He's been racking up the multiple hit games of late, has three in his last four. And the 2-2 pitch, too high to fill it up. Schmidt taking his lead. Corcoran not an overly fast worker in the early going. And he comes with the payoff. Marco takes it. Strike three called. So he's frozen. And out of there on strikes. One away. So now Bresniak, right hand hitter. Plenty of power for the Brookdale third baseman. Six home runs. Leads the team with 28 driven in. Looking for a first inning RBI here. Takes ball one, one and oh. Bresniak, another Brookdale hitter. The batting average north of 500 at 523. He's also chipped in with stolen bases as well. Double digits in that category with 10. Two and nothing. Prior to the Salem game on Sunday, we saw Brookdale here in that matchup against Rowan Cumberland. They dumped 25 runs on the board in a 25 to five route. Bresniak had a big hand in that. He takes ball three out of the strike zone. Rocco had a two-home run game, including a grand slam in that blowout victory. Got a 3-0 count. Watches a strike. He was a step toward first base. Ryan Cole is the on-deck hitter. And now Corcoran. Ready's the 3-1 offering. And it's lined towards center field coming on DeMarco. He won't get it. They wave around Schmidt. He's coming to the plate. The throw is cut off. It's an RBI single for Bresniak who adds to his team leading total. That's number 29 driven in. And Brookdale's got a 1-0 lead. Oh, the Jersey Blues doing what they do best, score early in games. They've had some big first innings this year. They're on the board early. Ryan Cole steps in. 
Bresniak off first. He takes off, pitches a strike, throw on a hop, and it's off the bag into the second steal of the inning. This one for Bresniak, his 11th. So Cole now doesn't have the batting average quite at 500, but 491, not too shabby. Three home runs, 25 runs batted in for the everyday first baseman. And he bounces one toward short. There's Evan Hill to play. It throws on target for the out. So Cole retired, two out. And the inning left to Anthony Martino. He's the designated hitter today. It's one of the few positions that is on a rotating basis for this Brookdale team. They've got a pretty set lineup, one through nine in the order. First pitch ball, 1-0. and oh. Martino is at some of the play at second base and rotating in amongst the options at DH. Right-hand hitter, and a snap throw to second is too late. Resniak gets back in time. And Martino for the year, a 407 batter, and he's homered twice. Nine RBIs to go with it. 1-0. Breaking ball strike and a good snapper from Corcoran. Even up the count. One run home in the inning. It's a 1-0 Brookdale lead. Ball on the corner. Got the call. And Corcoran one strike away from getting out of this inning with only one run against him. It's Bresniak taking the lead off second. And the one two to the plate. High and away. If Martino kept it going, Devin Smith would get a first inning at bat. Smith, the transfer from Ocean County from a year ago. So you figure this game has extra significance for him. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. That'll end the inning. But Brookdale Cash is a first inning run. A single, a steal. Bresniak gets him in. 1-0 Brookdale after one. My name is Rocco Bresniak, third first baseman from Mattawan, New Jersey. I'm currently at Brookdale Major in Social Science. Came to Brookdale for the great success throughout the years. My name is Nick Lavarco. I'm from Wall High School. I'm a business major here at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. My name is Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. I'm Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher at Brookdale. I went to Colton Eck High School. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. Uh, hi, I'm Anthony Martino. I'm from Brick, New Jersey. I'm a business major, and I'm here to try and find a good four-year school. Top of the second inning here in Lincroft, New Jersey, on campus of Brookdale Community College. Jersey Blues and the Ocean Vikings. Ocean batting here at top of the second with strike one. Ryan Ashok to lead it off for the Vikings. He's the first baseman. Cleanup hitter in the order. Kras got the side in order in the first with 1K. And he's quickly ahead, nothing in two on the big bat of the Vikings. Ashik leads the team. He has three home runs. In fact, he's hit three of the team's four total. Fifteen runs batted in. High pop, and that'll be out of play. Comes in with a 543 batting average. So between these two teams, you've got a lot of the region leaders in batting. These are two of the best hitting teams in all the region. 0-2. That one hit well out toward right field. Long run, Lavarco toward the line, but it's foul. These teams will play two today, and they will meet in Ocean. Tom's River's home field tomorrow afternoon. And a big weekend coming up for Brookdale with a three-gamer against Northampton. Again, the 0-2. 
missed with a breaking ball. One and two, the count. Brookdale starting the day number three in the national rankings for Division Three. So, having another terrific season. Krauss going with another breaking ball and missed with it. Two and two. On deck, Aiden Gallipoli and then Justin Renzi in this second inning. One nothing, the Jersey Blues in front. And the count runs full, so Kraus got ahead of his man, but now he's missed with three straight. Come with a payoff pitch. On the way. Tried to hold the swing, and he did so in time, ball four. So Ushak starts the inning with a walk. So the first base runner against Kraus. And Aiden Gallipoli to the plate. He's the left fielder, left-hand batter. And takes one at his feet, Lamira chases it to the backstop and there was no advance made by Ushok so I don't think he saw where that ball went otherwise he'd be at second base that ball got far enough but no advance made swing and he just got a piece for a foul ball strike one and one Gallipoli comes in at 276 with the average. He is not homered. And 13 driven in. Stings this one hard and threw a base hit to left, pulling in at second. A shock. He stops there. And they've got the first two aboard. Hard hit ball for Gallipoli and the first ocean hit of the day. Now Justin Renzi, the batter, batting at 281 for the year, two runs batted in. Brookdale has outmatched Ocean quite significantly in the home run number. 21 for Brookdale, only four for the Vikings. As Cole crashes in on the first pitch ball, so I think he might be expecting a bunt here. Renzi was set to swing on the first one. Resniak and Cole, they're on guard on the grass. Now he squares and takes a ball outside, 2-0. Oh. So Renzi may be looking to give himself up here with two on base, trying to push two into scoring position. Cole and Bresniak certainly convinced. On 2-0, oh, set to swing and it's way outside. Krauss making just his second start of the year. He's done most of his work in relief. Seventh appearance overall. Needs to find the zone on 3-0, and he does not. Ball four. So that'll load him up. First three have reached in the inning with nobody out, and now a first inning conversation as Johnny Johnson will join the rest of the Brookdale infield. The way Brookdale's been pitching this year, there have not been too many mound visits from Johnny Johnson, but got one here in the fairly early going. Ball one, little bit high. And got a big spot early in this game. Brookdale holding a one nothing lead, but that's in jeopardy. Base is full and nobody out. The 1-0 over for a strike to even it up. Eli Santiago is the batter with a shock. Gallipoli and Renzi on the bases. Corners are in on the cut of the grass. Middle infield at double play depth. Swung on and fouled out of play. Santiago has struggled this year with the bat. Just a 188 average and he just gets a piece. Oh, 
three runs batted in for the designated hitter for this game one. Kraus could not have had an easier first inning, retired the side in order, limited pitches needed to do so. And now trying to work out of a major jam. Ahead of his man, one and two, the pitch. Fouled off another one. Two walks and a single have gotten him in trouble. Base hit could give Ocean the lead. One, two is granted slowly to third. Picked up by Bresniak. Gets the out at the plate. That's it. But they keep Ocean off the board. Fielder's choice to force a shock at the plate. Bases remain loaded, and there's now one away. So five to two on the fielder's choice. And Evan Kortnick digs in, the third baseman. Right-hand hitter, base is still full. First pitch. Breaking ball for a... Uh, no, I thought the plate umpire was going to call it a strike. Like he started the motion, but ruled it a ball. Now the 1 0. Swing and a miss. One ball and one strike. Portnick, a 231 batter with five driven in. Chance to do damage here. Picks one in the dirt. Two balls and a strike. So you've got Gallipoli. He's on at third. Renzi at second. Santiago. Now at first. Not too far outside, Kraus going with the heater. Well, one more out of the strike zone and he'll force home the tying run. Three and one the count. Kraus ready with his pitch. Swing and a miss. And that runs it full. Be a big payoff pitch. With the base is loaded, only one out. Here it comes, and it's low below the knees. Ball four that'll force in a run as Gallipoli comes in to score, and this game is even. It's 1 1. So Kraus has lost his. Command of the strike zone in the inning. He starts Evan Hill off. It's called strike one. Base is still loaded. Now a 1-1 game. Only one out. Hill lashes one foul. Kraus gets ahead. Nothing in two. Three walks in the inning and a single. It's allowed Ocean to tie up the score. Kraus would like a strikeout here. Comes with the 0-2. Yeah. And he got him swinging. Half swing, Hill could not hold up, and Kraus picks up strikeout number two and a big one. So back to the top of the order, Tom DeMarco saw only one pitch to lead off, flied out to Nick Lavarco, and takes up and out of the strike zone, 1-0. Marco 0 for 1, batting for the second time in two innings. Ocean has scored once, but chance for more. 2 and 0. Marco's had a terrific year, batting at 350. He's been, he's been the table setter amongst the region leaders in stolen bases with 12. And a called strike. Renzi, Santiago, and Kortnick, they're all on. And Kraus fakes on the pickoff throw to second. On the ground is second. Right there is Colbert. He'll flip to second for the force. That'll end the inning. Ocean scores one to get even. Bottom to second we go in a 1-1 game.
My name is Junior Nunez from North Bergen, New Jersey. I'm a cybersecurity major. I came to Brookdale for the baseball organization program. My name is Hunter Serrano from Manalpa, New Jersey. I'm majoring in business and I came to Brookdale for the baseball program. Gio Siv from Freeldboro High School. My major is criminal justice and I came to Brookdale for the options. Hi, my name's Andy Osmond. I'm from Jackson, New Jersey, and I, I'm a business major at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale because we ain't losing men. Hi, my name is Sean Reed. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I'm a psychology major, and I came to Brookdale for baseball. Bottom of the second inning from Lincroft, Brian Gadsford here with you as we stream live on Brookdale TV and YouTube. Jersey Blues and Ocean, first of two today. Devin Smith leading off right-hand hitter. And the lefty winds his first pitch out of the zone, away, 1-0. and It'll be Smith, Luca Lamira, Hunter Serrano, 6-7-8 and eight for Brookdale. Tied at 1. And the 1-0 to the plate. All 2 to the backstop. Smith, another Brookdale player amongst the region leaders in batting. He comes in at 5-12. Looking for his first home run with 13 knocked in. He's playing for this Ocean team just a season ago. He quickly gets into a 3-0 count. In fact, Smith was in the lineup on the other side when these teams met a season ago. It was a doubleheader that Ocean actually swept Brookdale. 3-0, taking a strike. Cut on and missed. So from 3 and 0, it goes to a full count. Now Corcoran gets the one he wants, steals 3 2, and it's hit out of play. Well, Brookdale was off yesterday, and the last time. They played was here Sunday for that one game affair against Salem and 14 to 10 final. Quite a ball game. As they went to 18 and one for the season. Outside ball four and Smith works the walk. And it brings in Luca Lamira. It's been kind of one game on, one game off as they rotate Lamira with Shane Andrews behind the plate all season long. But Lamira gets the call game one today. Figure it'll be Andrews for game two a little bit later. Strike one called. Luca was batting at 429 with no homers and 13 runs batted in. Got a man aboard at first, that's Smith. Corcoran steps off the rubber. Smith, not a big stolen base threat. He's only swiped two without being caught. Takes his lead. And the 0-1. A ball and a strike. Amira had that game against Salem off on Sunday as Andrews got the start. Dale put another big run total on the board. They've been doing that with regularity, checking at first base. In fact, here's their run totals over their last three wins. 25, we talked about that game against Rowan Cumberland, and then 15 and 14 in their last two wins in the Salem series. Another throw over. And they're facing a team that can slug with them. Maybe not the home run numbers, but Ocean's been scoring plenty of runs, particularly of late. So I figure this could be a double header with plenty of runs crossing the plate. And there's a strike. And Corcoran set. 
with a 1-2. High fly ball. This one down the line and it lands foul as three Vikings were in pursuit of it. Barth, the right fielder among them, but it's a foul ball. So the at bat for Lamira continues. Hunter Serrano waiting in the on deck circle. Fairly slow pace to start this game, mainly because Corcoran. Not an overly quick worker on the mound. Feels the one two. Swung on, lifted out to left field. Gallipoli is under it, and he'll put it away for out number one. So, one on, one out. Serrano coming up. Brookdale starting shortstop. He had the day off on Sunday as Chris Clark got a spot start at the shortstop position. Serrano with 231. He's driven in 14 runs. He's come up big in the clutch on quite a few occasions. Takes ball one low. Another one at the plate and out of the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Nick Colbert hitting ninth in the order. He's next. 1-1 one, one game as Brookdale bats bottom two. 2-0 two -oh pitch. Tried to hold the swing, but well, it was out of the strike zone. So 3-0. Corcoran needs to get one over here. And he does. Three and one. Serrano, one of the second year Jersey Blues. Johnny Johnson has praised the sophomore leadership of any of his sophomores. They've got Smith picked off. Throw to second. Got him. Smith was in motion on the pitch. Corcoran threw down to first. They tag him out at second. Two out in the inning. And a 3-1 count on Serrano. Corcoran deals. Inside ball four, and Serrano tosses the bat aside, heads down to first with the second walk of the inning. And Nick Colbert steps in. Brookdale's got switch hitters to start and end the lineup with Schmidt and Colbert. And them some flexibility against the left-hander Corcoran, whose first pitch is taken for ball one. Colbert every now and again can hit one out of the yard. He has one this year to go along with 12 driven in. Hitting a healthy 378. Fly down the right field side out of play. Two out in the inning. Serrano, the base runner. And the 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit hard and down the line. That's a fair ball. Chased by Gallipoli to the corner. To third is Serrano. He'll stop there. And it's a double for Colbert. So two in scoring position now. If not for the pickoff at second base Brookdale would have the lead again but the game's still tied 1-1 as Schmidt digs in 
Switch hitter batting from the right side. Two in scoring position with two out. And the first one missed with it, ball one. Schmidt got Brooktail started with a single, stole a base, scored a run. That's the job of a leadoff hitter and Schmidt executing it well. Base hit here would give him a couple of RBIs, presumably. Watches out of the zone and it's 2-0. Schmidt's a good hitter, but the last thing Corcoran wants to do is put him on and deal with Lavarco with the bases loaded. On 2-0. It's 3-0, and now Corcoran is one pitch away from doing just that. So Brookdale have a grand slam here recently. That was in the Rowan Cumberland game off the bat of Bresniak. And the 3 0. Got a strike in there. Serrano at third, Colbert at second with two out. And another strike. So from 3 0, it's full. Only not a bad approach from Schmidt. He's waiting for the one he wants. Corcoran doesn't give it to him. Lavarco would get the big chance. And there'll be a payoff upcoming on 3-2. Swinging its hit back toward the middle. Diving and gets through in a center field. A base hit in the score. Serrano Colbert right behind him. It's a big two RBI hit for Ryan Schmidt as Brookdale goes back in front by a score of 3-1. RBIs number seven and eight, and big ones. As Brookdale grabs the lead, Lavarco, the batter, Schmidt now at first. Lavarco batting for the second time. He bounces a high chopper to third, fielded by Quartnick, and that'll retire the side. But two runs in, big hit from Schmidt. Two innings complete and a 3-1 Brookdale advantage. My name's Chris Clark. I'm from Tom's River South. I'm a criminal justice major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Hi, my name is Anderson Gonzalez. I'm from Western Union, New Jersey. My major is business administration. The reason why I chose Brookdale is because they have a good academic and athletic career. Hi, my name is Aiden Bayardi. I'm from Union, New Jersey, and I'm a criminal justice major. And I came to Brookdale to work on my education and move further. I'm Ryan Cole. I'm from Neptune, New Jersey. I'm a business administration major, and I chose Brookdale to play under Coach Johnson. My name is Chris DiMaggio. I'm from Manalpin, New Jersey. My major is criminal justice, and I came here to play for Coach Johnson. Top of the third inning now. Brookdale with a 3-1 lead on Ocean. As Carl Barth leads off, Christian Kraus starts his third inning of work with ball one. Fastball running in tight. 1-0 on Barth with A.J. Pearson on deck, and then Ryan Ashok for the Vikings. 2-0 the count. Barth 0 for 1 in the game. He rolled out to second base his first time. Hit pretty well out to center field, but right there waiting for it, Ryan Schmidt. Gloves it out number one. Devin Smith checked that in center field. So one away. And A.J. Pearson struck out swinging his first time against Kraus. It's one of two for the right-hander. This is away, 1-0. and oh. so For Pearson, that put an end to a streak where he had at least six hits in his last six at-bats, doing so in their 
last game at Union. Hit to the left side for Bresniak. Gobbles it up and throws to first in time. Two down. Krauss handed a two-run lead, courtesy of Schmidt's two-run hit. Now looking for the shutdown inning. He's got the first two out. Now Ryan Ashok. Drew a walk his first time up. Two out bases clear. Brookdale three, Ocean one. One and oh. Hit hard, that's a base hit. So an opposite field hit. The Sharks got the Vikings second hit of the day, a two out single. And here's Aiden Gallipoli who had the first ocean hit, a second inning single, scored their only run. Watches a breaking ball for a strike. Brass has been featuring his fastball, but that's the first pitch off speed over in this turn at bat. Quickly deals the 0 1, and on the appeal, no swing. Count even at 1 and 1. Called strike two. Ball and two strikes on the ocean left fielder. Aiden Gallipoli. One two pitch. He fouled it off. Just got a piece. And for Ocean, they're coming off a high scoring game just as Brookdale did on Sunday. For the Vikings, it was back on Friday when they beat up on Union, a 17 8 final. Ocean Pearson was the hitting star in that game with his 6 for 6 day. Pitch too far inside, two balls, two strikes. Galapoli, he had three RBIs in that 17 run outburst. Quartnick chipping into the three RBI day as well. This is lifted in a foul ground and out of Schmidt's reach. Two ball, two strike count with two out in the inning. Ocean batting in this third. Brookdale the 3-1 lead. And the pitch. Strike three called. He got him with a fastball. That's his third strikeout. We're in the middle of the third now in Lincroft. Brookdale three, Ocean one. My name is Chris Clark. I'm from Tom's River South. I'm a criminal justice major and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Hi, my name is Anderson Gonzalez. I'm from Western Union, New Jersey. My major is business administration. The reason why I chose Brookdale is because they have a good academic and athletic career. Hi, my name is Aiden Bayardi. I'm from Union, New Jersey, and I'm a criminal justice major. And I came to Brookdale to work on my education and move further. I'm Ryan Cole. I'm from Neptune, New Jersey. I'm a business administration major, and I chose Brookdale to play under Coach Johnson. My name is Chris DiMaggio. I'm from Manalpin, New Jersey. My major is criminal justice, and I came here to play for Coach Johnson. Home third inning here in Brookdale. Jersey Blues lead it 3-1. to one. Rocco Bresniak ready to lead it off against Luke Corcoran, the left-hander. And the first pitch to Bresniak. He swings and grants it right at the shortstop hill. Handles the hop, throws to first in time. Got him by a step. And one away. So one pitch, one out. Ryan Cole coming to the plate. Cole also granted out to short his first time. That was back in the first. Brooktail plated one in the first, two more in the second for a 3-1 lead. 
Winners of 18 of 19 for the year so far. Ball one. On deck batter is Anthony Martino, the designated hitter. One ball and one strike. Jersey Blues three runs on four hits to this point. Hit hard and past the dive of Portnick down the left field line. Cole takes the turn around first. He's heading for second. The throw there, not in time. And Cole's got a one out double. He's been racking up the two base hits this year. His 11th double, which leads the team. So Martino steps in, struck out swinging his first time up against left-hander Corcoran. Dealing with a runner now in scoring position, his first pitch over the outside part of the plate for a strike. Corcoran has struck out two thus far, and charged with three runs behind in the game. Steals the 0-1. Foul back to the fence behind home plate, so it's nothing in two. Waiting on deck, Devin Smith. Mm. Martino tired of waiting around. There's been a lot of long pauses from Corcoran. Not sure if he's quite on the same page with his catcher, Pearson. Now the 0-2. Upstairs, a ball and two strikes. Runner Cole takes his lead in scoring position off second. And the one two is hit on the ground to short. Hill scoops it up, throws, and off the bag. Didn't get him. So Martino with pretty good wheels running down the line. Beats it out. Certainly helped that the throw was a bit off target. And two on base now. Devin Smith has a chance to burn his old teammates. Head to a 3-1 Brookdale lead. He takes ball one up and away. Smith drew a walk his first time up, but then was picked off. As he was in motion, Corcoran threw to first, and they got him at second base. Line drive left field, that's down for a base hit. Cole to third, he's sprinting toward the plate. He will score. Martino goes first to third, and Devin Smith picks up an RBI single to extend the Brookdale lead. It's four to one. RBI number 14 on the year. Runners at the corners, Luca Lamira ready next. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out to left. So the Jersey Blues have scored in every inning. Not a big number in any frame, but plenty of baseball left. And then they've got another whole game to play after this one. Called strike one. Starting the season series with the doubleheader today. They'll finish it in Ocean County tomorrow afternoon. Ball and a strike to Lamira. Martino's at third. Smith is at first. One run home in the inning.
And ready now with the 1-1. 2-1. One, one. Overcast day at the ballpark and another chilly afternoon as the temperature fails to reach 50 degrees today. Now into the late part of March, but spring weather not on the horizon. Fouled away, two balls and two strikes. And Corcoran, 2-2 pitch. Lined, and that's in a right field for a base hit. Come on home, Anthony Martino. Smith stops at second, and Lamira adds an RBI single to make it 5-1 to one Jersey Blues. Three runs now home in the inning as they've bettered themselves each inning of the way. One in the first, two in the second, now three here in the third. Strike one to Hunter. He drew a walk his first time and scored a run. That was in the second. Back in there is the starting shortstop today after the day off Sunday. I fly ball, pretty well hit to right, going back Barth, he's got a beat on it, makes the catch, tagging at second Smith on his way to third, relay throw not in time. So a productive ad from Serrano to advance the runner, there are now two away. So now Colbert, switch hitter batting right. Two on, two out, 5-1 Brookdale. Ball one taken, it's 1-0. and oh. Colbert had a key hit his first time up for extra bases, a double. And then scored on Schmidt's two RBI hit. On 1-0, -oh, Colbert with the runner going, watches outside, throw to second on the money, and got him. In time, good throw by Pearson. And Lamira tagged out to end the inning, but three runs added for Brookdale in the third, and they carry a 5-1 lead to the fourth. My name's John Goods. I'm from Rumson, New Jersey. I'm a communications major here, and I came to Brookdale to pursue an academic and baseball career. My name is Christian Simonson. I am undecided. I went to Shore Regional High School, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Hi, my name is Edison Gonzalez. I'm from West New York, New Jersey. The reason that I come brother for the baseball team. My name is Christian Kraus. I'm from Old Bridge, New Jersey, and I'm a business administration major, and I came to Brookdale for its baseball. Top of the fourth inning, Brian Gadsford here with you on Brookdale TV. First pitch is hit out toward right center field. Nick Lavarco finds it and makes the one-hand catch. So Justin Renzi, one pitch, and he's retired, one out. And Eli Santiago, the batter, the designated hitter. Reached on a fielder's choice his first time. Brookdale with a 5-1 lead. Right-hand hitter. He swings away at the first one. Popped up foul ground and grabbed by Ryan Coles. So he couldn't ask for a quicker start to the inning for Christian Kraus. Two pitches and he's got two out. Pitch inning. That would be a rarity. We'll see if he can accomplish that. Evan Kortnick, the batter, and he's taking a strike. Fastball from Kraus. Ocean batting in the top of the fourth. Scored their run back in inning number two. Oh, one. Lays off, and the count is even. One ball and one strike. Kortnick in his first at bat work to walk. Cut on and foul tipped, a ball and two strikes. Right 
Krauss looking to hand it back to the potent Brookdale offense. Ready with a 1-2. It's on the way. Strike three called. He rings up Kortnick for strikeout number four on the day, and they go in order quickly. Middle of the fourth, 5-1, Jersey Blues. Uh, my name is Shane Andrews. I'm from Oceanport, New Jersey, and I'm a business major. I'm Angela Friend from Raritan High School, and I'm an art major. My name is Dan Coles. I went to Colesac High School. I'm a psych major, and I came here because it's close to my house. My name is Angelo Friend. I'm from Raritan High School. I'm an art major, and I came here because it's the best place to play baseball. My name is Jules Conti. I'm from St. Rose High School. I'm a marketing major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Bottom of the fourth inning, Brookdale coming to bat against Luke Corcoran, leading 5-1. to one. It's Nick Colbert. He was at the plate when runner was caught stealing to end the last inning. Batting from the right side. First pitch on the way, and it's taken for a strike. Nothing and one. Be nine, one and two up for the Jersey Blues. Schmidt on deck and then Nick Lavarco. And the wind in the 0-1. One ball and one strike. Colbert one for one in the game, had an extra base hit, was a double and scored. Jersey Blues have scored in every inning, and each inning has been better than the previous. Line toward left field, and that's down for a base hit. So Nick Colbert starts the inning with a single. And Ryan Schmidt will be the batter. He's got Brookdale's biggest hit of the game, a single in the second that scored two runs. Big hit especially because it came with two out. Batting right-handed, another switch hitter. First pitch, up and away, 1-0. and oh. Schmidt on the day, already two for two. He's stolen a base, he's scored one, he's driven in two. So he's been an effective table setter for the meat of the order. Lays off a pitch in the dirt, 2-0. and oh. And 3-0, and oh, too far off the plate. And Schmidt got a 3-0 count his last time up, ended up working it full and then delivered the Two RBI hit. See if he's looking to take a pitch here on 3 0. He does, and it's ball four. First two have reached in the inning on a single and a walk. And now there'll be a meeting at the mound as Ed McCray makes the short stroll out to the mound, joined by the entire infield as. Corcoran's given up five runs, and we'll see if this is just a conference or they're going to make a change here. Looks like they're sticking with him. So Labarco, the batter, he's been held in check so far. Called that on strikes, granted to third. And he's done plenty of damage this year. Came into the day at 460 with the average. Tied for the region lead with seven home runs. And 24 knocked in. Runners on first and second. Nobody out. Pick off the road to first and safe. Barco had a multiple hit game here on Sunday. Two for six, had a double, drove in three, and scored three. First pitch to him. Ball one. In fact, it was the fourth inning on Sunday that was the big one for the Jersey Blues. They scored eight times. 
Scored in each of the first three so far and looking to add to it as they bat in this fourth. And that gets through into left field for a base hit. Turning third, heading home is Colbert. And the throw is cut off. Runner first to third goes Schmidt. Nick Lavarco picks up an RBI single and Brookdale leads six to one. And here's Bresniak with men at the corners. Nobody out in the inning. See how much longer they inclined to go with Luke Corcoran who misses ball one up and away. Bresniak won for his first two today. Single back in the first, stole a base. Last time up, retired on a grander to short. The 1-0. 2-0. Now Brookdale 6, Ocean 1. These Jersey Blues here at home, they feels like they're unbeatable. 14 games here, they've won all of them. Only loss came in the opener in the Salem series down in South Jersey, and they lost by just a run, 7-6. Too high, and it's 3-0. and So this is a dangerous spot for Corcoran. Behind on Bresniak. Not an easy match on deck either with Ryan Cole. Swinging 3-0 and and popped into shallow right field foul territory and it is caught by the second baseman Renzi. Nice play. He had the angle. He made the catch. One out. So now it's Cole. Runners still at the corners. One out in the inning. Ryan's one for two today. Doubled his last time. Scored a run. Slugs this one out to left center field. That ball's way hit back toward the track. And one hopped up against the fence. Turning third, Schmidt. He gets the wave home. And he scores. Trying for third in the triple. And safe. RBI triple Ryan Cole. It's now Brookdale 7, Ocean 1. Called strike Anthony Martino. He is struck out and reached on an error. Make it 8 1, the Jersey Blue lead. So they have added three more runs in the inning, and this one is clocked out to left field going back Gallipoli, and it's a foul ball. At home run distance off the bat of Martino. He's hit two out of the park this year, nearly had his third. Come back to the plate. Cole's triple scored two runs. Now an 0-2 count on the Brookdale DH for this game one. And it goes to the backstop. Breaking for the plate is Cole. He slides. He's safe. And on the wild pitch, the ninth run of the game scores to make it 9-1 Jersey Blues. Bases are now clear, one out in the inning. And Corcoran can go back from the full wind to head one and two. And his pitch. Is a breaking ball in the dirt. Goes to the fence behind home plate. And it runs full. 
on deck hitter Devin Smith already on base twice. And the full count delivery. Breaking ball. Strike three called. A delayed call from home plate umpire Sean Trice, but Martino add on strikes. Two out. Third strikeout for the lefty, and now it's Smith. Base is empty in the inning, but another damaging win for Brookdale. This game has followed a pattern. They have scored the same number of runs as the inning. One in the first, two in the second, three in the third, and now four here in the fourth. There's a strike. Smith on the day has walked and singled and been picked off. Fouled off to the right. Former Ocean Viking. He was on the other side when these teams met last season. Had a multiple hit game in one of those doubleheader games. Ocean victorious against Brookdale. Series two out of three last year. But this version of the Jersey Blues is even more difficult to beat. Down at the feet, one and two. Played 16 games this year before their first loss and starting a new streak since. A win in this first game today would make it three straight. On the one, two. Lined to short, and there is Hill, and that'll end the inning. But four runs in, the big swing from Ryan Cole drives in two with a triple. 9-1 Jersey Blues, four innings complete. My name is Rocco Bresniak, third first baseman from Mattawan, New Jersey. I'm currently at Brookdale, major in social science. Came to Brookdale for the great success throughout the years. My name is Nick Lavarco. I'm from Wall High School. I'm a business major here at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. My name is Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. I'm Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher at Brookdale. I went to Colts Neck High School. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. Uh, hi, I'm Anthony Martino. I'm from Brick, New Jersey. I'm a business major, and I'm here to try and find a good four-year school. Top of the fifth inning, Brookdale leads Ocean. It's 9-1. to one. Ocean sends up 9-1-2 one, and two in the order with a foul ball strike one. Evan Hill leading off the inning. A shortstop for the Vikings, and he'll be followed by Tom DeMarco and Carl Barth as the lineup will turn over to the top after Hill's turn here. Christian Kraft starts his fifth inning of work up by eight runs and deals a strike. He's ahead nothing in two. Got Hill on a strikeout his first time. That was in the second. Looking to get him again here ahead 0-2. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He chased one out of the zone. Three pitches. He's out. One gone. So five strikeouts now for Kraus. Tom DeMarco leadoff hitter. 0 for 2 today. He has flied to right and grounded to a fielder's choice. Yeah. Takes a strike. Kraus has good stuff on the mound. Hard thrower and got that good off speed pitch. Foul back to the fence. Quickly 0 and 2. Inning that he got in trouble. He kind of lost control of the strike zone. Walked 3, but other than that, he's been in control. Only one run against him, and in front by plenty. And his 0-2 pitch is in the dirt. Kraus hey, 
just came in with a 1.42 ERA. Brookdale is a team. That number has been below two for just about the whole way this year. Two balls, two strikes. Right back to him. Kras plays the comebacker. Two out. So two out, nobody on. Carl Barth. 0 for 2 in the game, but having a terrific year. 465 batter coming in and he's homered once only three Vikings have gone deep this year a shock is the leader but Barth has one he chops one over the mound Colbert picks it up with one hand throws on the move in time side retired they go one two three and we're in the middle of the fifth it's nine one Brookdale my name is Junior Nunez from North Bergen, New Jersey. I'm a cybersecurity major. I came to Brookdale for the baseball organization program. My name is Hunter Serrano. I'm from Manalpa, New Jersey. I'm majoring in business, and I came to Brookdale for the baseball program. Gio Siv from Freeland Borough High School. My major is criminal justice, and I came to Brookdale for the options. Hi, my name's Andy Osmond. I'm from Jackson, New Jersey, and I, I'm a business major at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale because we ain't losing, man. Hi, my name is Sean Reed. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I'm a psychology major, and I came to Brookdale for baseball. Luca Lamira leading off the bottom of the fifth inning against a new ocean pitcher who deals a strike. And the new pitcher is the righty Kyle Collins for the Vikings. Brookdale with another big lead. They're in front 9-1. Breaking ball for a strike, so a couple of good pitches to get ahead in the count. Lemire will be followed by Hunter Serrano and Nick Colbert. Lower third of the Brookdale order. Wind and the 0-2 pitch. Bounced to the left side, played there by the shortstop Hill. The overhand throw in time. A nice play. 6-3 to three on the putout. Lemire the first out. Starter Luke Cork ran out of this game after four innings, and he allowed nine runs against him. Big breaking ball, ball one. Hunter Serrano has walked and scored and flied to right. 0 for 1 officially. Upstairs, 2-0. Kyle Colands, a freshman out of Lavalette. New Jersey. Missed the outside corner, so he's behind 3 and 0. And ball 4. So four pitch walk, Serrano on for a second time both on the base on balls. 25 Justin Diaz is going to take the spot here in the ninth spot in the order. Righty to righty with a line shot and it gets through base hit going into right center field, stopping at second Serrano. So Diaz comes off the bench and rips a base hit right back through the middle and two on base. So the ninth spot in the order now for Brookdale is three for three, two singles and a double. That's production. And Ryan Schmidt will bat from the left side for the first time today, and he's had a very productive day at the plate, all batting from the right side, reaching base all three times, two singles and a walk. One hops to the plate. Runners take off, throw to third, not in time. On the short, wild pitch, they both move up. Serrano to third, Diaz to second. 
And Schmidt's got a chance to bring them both home. He's already driven in two with one of his base hits earlier in this game. As Cole Lands works from the windup, and it's lined into right field for a base hit. Serrano's in the score. Diaz being waved around. Here comes the throw to the plate, and Diaz ends up being held up. So one run in on Schmidt's base hit. He's got a three RBI day, and it's 10 to one Jersey Blues. Looked like Diaz initially was going to be sent on that base hit, but a last second change of heart. So he's at third, runners at the corners. Nick Lavarco, one for three in the ball game. Their lopsided score today. Strike about knee high. Looked like it might have been low, but the strike called. Nothing in one. Marco base hit his last time up and scored. Lays off, and that one in the dirt. One and one. Diaz now at third with Schmidt on at first. Schmidt has stolen one today. That one inside, and it hit him. So LaVarco heads down to first base. The bases are now loaded. Rizniak, pretty good option coming up at the plate. Already one grand slam this year. That was in the Rowan Gloucester blowout. Olands will go from the wind. Brookdale's leading this game 10 to 1. Chance to make it a double digit lead. Ball one in the dirt. A one for three days so far for Rocco. Runners on. It's Diaz, Schmidt, and Lavarco. Driven out to right field. Going back is Barth. He will not make the catch. It goes off his glove. Diaz is in the score. Everyone else moves up a base. And it's Brookdale 11 to 1. Looked like a playable ball for Barth in right field. He got to the spot but couldn't squeeze it. And another run in. Now a conference between pitcher and catcher. Pearson out to chat with Cole Lands before Cole takes his next at bat. Chance to do hefty damage. Already a 10 run lead. It's 11 to one. All earlier this year named the conference player of the week. And he attacks the first one and pops it out of play. Another good day at the plate today. He's got a double and a triple. His last extra base hit produced two runs. And the 0-1 on the way. Taking a strike with a breaking ball. Cole Lands jumps ahead, nothing in two. He'd like a strikeout here, but it's a Brookdale team. Doesn't strike out much. On deck, Martino. Cole just nubs it foul. He was fooled by that breaking ball. And it looks like, in fact, there's going to be a change on deck with Junior Nunez ready to take Martino's spot. 0-2 count on Cole. Bases loaded, one out, 11-1 Brookdale. Cole hits a high pop-up. This one is on the infield and grabbed by the first baseman Ushok in foul territory. Two down. Hey, do this! So a spot where Cole ends wanted a strikeout, but that basically has the same effect, a pop out not deep enough to advance any runner. So base is full with two out, and Nunez looks at ball one. And 
Nunez comes in with a 500 batting average, so he's made the most of his opportunities, and it's 2-0. On a hop, a couple of hops to second, fielded by Renzi. That'll retire the side, so Brookdale leaves them loaded, but they add two more. Brookdale 11, Ocean 1 to the sixth. Hi, my name is Kensel Flores. I'm from North Babylon, New York. My major here at Brookdale is business, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball and for the unlimited academic opportunities. Hi, my name is Anderson Gonzalez. I'm from Western York, New Jersey. My major is business administration. My name is Justin Diaz from Times River South. I'm a business major. I'm here to play baseball. Hi, my name is Mike Mulkeen. I'm from Woodbridge, New Jersey. I'm a business administration major, and I came to Brookdale because it's a phenomenal academic school, and it has a great baseball program. My name is Zach Zikowski. I'm from Wall, New Jersey. I'm a business major, and I came to Brookdale for the baseball. A.J. Pearson leading off, top of the sixth inning. It could be the final inning here in game one of the doubleheader today. Fly ball out to center field. Anderson Hernandez drifting over in the gap, and he makes the catch. One away. So Hernandez has taken over in center. Justin Diaz now at second for Colbert, and Dan Cowles is at first. So one out. Ryan Ashok facing Jake Bird, who is on in relief, normally one of the Brookdale starters in the rotation, 1-0. Good outing from Christian Kraus today in line for the win, going five innings. 2-0. Hushak has been on base twice, he has walked and singled. But Brookdale comfortably in front in this game, 11-1, looking to make it three straight wins. Hit hard to first, off the glove of Cowles, and he cannot recover. So, a shock reaches base. He's on all three times. Aiden Gallipoli will be next for the Vikings. One for two afternoon for him. So, the line on Crass, he went five innings, gave up just one run on two hits, three walks, struck out five. Bird now from the stretch. Cut on and miss, strike one. Bird has had a terrific year. He's got an ERA of 0 0.45. Two of the Brookdale regulars in the rotation. ERAs under one, which places them in the top five region wide. Fly that to left center field. Long run Hernandez, but it's Schmidt who takes charge of it and makes the grab. Two out. And Justin Renzi will be the batter and we'll wait to see if Ocean gets out here without a run scoring if this game is concluded after six innings on the mercy rule. It's a 10 run lead for Brookdale. Called strike. Renzi today has walked and flied to right. He's 0 for 1. Down low. For Bird, it's his sixth appearance. Second time in relief. He's worked 20 innings. He's been tough to hit. Only 12 hits against him. Q shot foul off the bat of Renzi. If he could keep it going, Eli Santiago would be next. One, two, count. Right. 
Swing and a miss. He chased one in the dirt. Lamira slaps on the tag. The inning is over, and we'll see if we are continuing here this afternoon in game number one. And it appears we are. So we're through five and a half. It's Brookdale 11, Ocean 1. Bottom of the six coming up. My name is Chris Clark. I'm from Tom's River South. I'm a criminal justice major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Hi, my name is Anderson Gonzalez. I'm from Western Union, New Jersey. My major is business administration. The reason why I chose Brookdale is because they have a good academic and athletic career. Hi, my name is Aiden Bayardi. I'm from New Union, New Jersey, and I'm a criminal justice major. And I came to Brookdale to work on my education and move further. I'm Ryan Cole. I'm from Neptune, New Jersey. I'm a business administration major, and I chose Brookdale to play under Coach Johnson. My name is Chris DiMaggio. I'm from Manalpin, New Jersey. My major is criminal justice, and I came here to play for Coach Johnson. Anderson Gonzalez leading off the home sixth inning. Brookdale leading 11-1. First pitch high and tight, 1-0. Luca Lemire in the on-deck circle, and then Hunter Serrano scheduled in the Jersey Blue sixth. Brookdale with the double-digit lead as that one gets away, ball two. Now facing Kyle Colands on in relief of Luke Corcoran. He worked four, gave up a whole bunch of runs. Nine of them to be exact. No strike. So Gonzalez taking the place of Devin Smith, who was on base twice. Figure Smith will be back in there for game two a little bit later on. Bouncing ball and foul. Just foul. Brookdale just shows how deep the roster is when you got players coming off the bench that have been solid contributors. Gonzalez is among them, a 417 average. Five hits and 12 at bats. 2-2 two -two on the way. And he strikes at swinging. Tag applied by Pearson. He'll throw down at first, but not necessarily so. And one out. Here's Lamira. One for three for the Brookdale catcher. Hi. Oh and one. Shane Andrews figures to get the game two start today. These teams will meet back up after a short intermission. Strike two. Colan showing off a pretty good breaking ball here. Lamira can only come away shaking his head, working quickly and dealing in the dirt that time, a ball and two strikes. Serrano is on deck. Jersey Blues have scored in every inning. One out base is empty so far in this frame. On one, two, Lamira fouls it out of play. Kyle Colands played his high school ball at Point Pleasant Beach. Hit pretty well out to left field, and that ball is down for extra bases. Lamira to second, and he's got a double. So Gallipoli going back on the ball in left field, but just had it go over his head. And the one-out double for extra bases. Oh, Serrano up now, twice on base today, both on the walk. And that's line to right field, coming on and making the catch is Barth, and then the throw back to second, but he's going to be doubled off. And that will end the inning. So a nice play by Barth. Serrano had a rocket to right field. Barth made the catch, and Lamira could not get back in time, really didn't make an attempt to. And now Brookdale will try to get the final three outs in the top of the seventh. Game one with an 11-1 lead. My name's John Goods. I'm from Rumson, New Jersey. I'm a communications major here, and I came to Brookdale to pursue an academic and baseball career. My name is Christian Simonson. I am undecided. I went to Shore Regional High School, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Hi, my name is Edison Gonzalez. I'm from West New York, New Jersey. 
the reason that I come to for the baseball team. My name is Christian Krause. I'm from Old Bridge, New Jersey, and I'm a business administration major, and I came to Brookdale for its baseball. Last chance for Ocean as they bat in the top of the seventh, but they're down 11-1. That's the Brookdale lead as Eli Santiago leads off against Chris DiMaggio. First pitch fouled straight back, nothing in one. Ocean will have the lower third of the order up. It's Santiago, Quartnick, and Hill. Stamaggio looking to get the final three outs and make Brookdale a game one winner today. Leo one offering. Slugged out to left field. Going to be a long run for Schmidt, and that ball is foul. Krauss started, went the first five, clean inning for Burt, a hitless sixth with one strikeout, and now DiMaggio. In for the seventh time this year, and he has not been scored upon. A zero ERA. Ahead 0-2. Line foul. Santiago an 0 for 2 game 1. He is granted into a fielder's choice and fouled out to the first baseman in Cole. Cowles is now in the first base spot. And again the 0-2. Lined and Bresniak has it go by him in the left field. So a scorcher off the bat of Santiago and a leadoff hit. So Evan Quartnick, a walk and a strikeout on his ledger. Strikeout came on a called third strike. He's 0 for 1, and he takes a first pitch rip and misses 0 and 1. Jersey Blue pitching has struck at 6 so far. Only one inning that was remotely difficult, and they limited the damage to just a run. Offense is done. Plenty of it on the other end with 11 more runs. Another double-digit output today. That's been right around their average this year, scoring 10-plus runs. Popped up. Bresniak and Lemire are coming over, but that's over the fence. Evan Hill waits on deck. And DiMaggio set with a 1-1. Cut on and miss strike two. Or apparently strike three. So Kortnick out on strikes. Brookdale pitching registers their seventh of the day and one out. Here's Hill. It will stay at the plate. He has not put the ball in play to this point. He does down the line and foul. As two at bats, he struck out both times against Kraus and then Burt. Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Maggio, the third pitcher of the day. Zach Setkowski set to get the game two start. On this overcast afternoon. Fouled off another one and now Brookdale one strike away. Check that there's still another out to get. One out in the inning. Waiting on deck is Tom DeMarco. Here's the stretch and the 0-2. Breaking ball high. Ocean, a loss here would put an end to their four game winning streaks. So they came in hot, but playing Brookdale, never easy. Down low to even the count. In fact, it's been a very streaky season for these Vikings. They started out of the gate, won their first three, then they dropped the next four before their most recent winning streak. And now the count full. 
May 2 took part in the Ripken experience down in Myrtle Beach, playing a couple of games down south in warmer weather. Payoff pitch now is a little looper out in the right center field on the run. Anderson Gonzalez, and he drops it. Can they get the out at second? They do. So Santiago was caught between. Gonzalez could not make the catch, but he forces the runner out anyway. And now Ocean down to their final out. And the batter, DeMarco, 0 for 3 on the day. Strike one, letter high, nothing in one. So Hill is the two at base runner. Game two will start about a half an hour after this one is official. Call the strike, and now one strike away, DiMaggio and Brookdale. Game just shy of two hours old. Maggio sets his 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. This game is over. <laughs> Brookdale has won it. The final score, 11-1. A game one winner. They win their third in a row. And we'll try for the doubleheader sweep in just a little bit. Another big offensive day. Cole, a couple of extra base hits, including a two-run triple. And the final score, 11-1. to one. So we thank you for joining us. Game one in the books. Brian Gadsworth here with you. And we'll see you for game two, Brookdale and Ocean, coming up on Brookdale TV. Uh, my name is Shane Andrews. I'm from Oceanport, New Jersey, and I'm a business major. I'm Angela Friend from Raritan High School, and I'm an art major. My name is Dan Coles. I went to Colesac High School. I'm a psych major, and I came here because it's close to my house. My name is Angelo Friend. I'm from Raritan High School. I'm an art major, and I came here because it's the best place to play baseball. My name is Jules Conti. I'm from St. Rose High School. I'm a marketing major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Underway in game two with a first pitch bouncer foul off Tom DeMarco's bat. Back here with you on YouTube, Brookdale TV. I'm Brian Goudsworth. Game two, the Jersey Blues and the Ocean Vikings. After an 11-1 triumph in game one. And a bouncing ball hit towards short. Up with it, Hunter Serrano makes the overhand throw in time. One man away. So DeMarco now 0 for 5 in the doubleheader. He's the first out here in game two. And Carl Barth stands in. Left hand hitter, another Brookdale starter working from the stretch with strike one call. This time it's Zach Zetkowski making the start. And he has not given up a run this year. This one is poked on a hop to short. Another chance for Serrano. Makes the off-balance throw, but Cole can't handle it. And the runner aboard. So Barth, the first base runner. Tricky play for Serrano at short. And A.J. Pearson will be the batter. For Setkowski, this is his first start of the year. His previous five had all come in relief. And now he contends with A.J. Pearson. Brookdale cooled off the ocean catcher in game one. He looks at strike one. He's the D.H. for this game. And held in check 0 for 3 after a six-hit barrage in Ocean's last game on Friday. Elevated him to the region lead in batting coming in better than 500. Runner takes off. This one is toward third and Bresniak. That's a fair ball. He makes the play in time. Two down. Yeah. 
rest of the defense for Brookdale in this game too. Very similar unit out there. In fact, it's all the same except for the battery in the outfield. It's Schmidt, Smith, and Lavarco. On the infield, they have Bresniak and Serrano on the left side. Colbert and Cole man the right side. And Shane Andrews gets the game two start behind the plate. Zach Sadkowski is on the mound. This next pitch swung on, fouled away off the bat of Ryan Ushak. A one for two, game one for him. He had a double. Just underway, game two. Got a little bit of sunshine. A few peaks anyway. Fairly chilly day though. Temperature still in the 40s. We progress through this afternoon. Inside and that hit him. Now two on base. Sapkowski will try to settle back in as Aiden Gallipoli stands in. He had a hit in game one, a one for three day. Starting both ends in left field. Zetkowski set and the first pitch on the corner for a strike called by Anderson Sanchez as the umpire switch places. Sanchez has the plate. Sean Trice is the umpire on the bases. Right now standing on the grass between second and third. On 01. He's got a piece to nick it. Strike two. Calipoli at 276 with the average. No home runs. He's knocked in 13. Behind the count, 0-2. Oh Ocean batting in their top half of the first. And the pitch. Just missed with it. Said Kowski didn't get the call. A ball and two strikes. Galapoli kept it going. Anthony Palmieri would hit in the inning. Said Kowski, the Wall High School product. Brings the next one home. And just off the corner again. So from 0-2 to 2-2 two two it goes. Runners on, it's Barth at second, a shock at first. 2-2 two, two pitch. Too far away and now full. So three straight out of the zone now from Setkowski. A walk would bring Anthony Palmieri to the plate. And Zetkowski will come with a first inning payoff. Here it is. Runners take off. Bounce to first. Gobbled up by Cole. Makes the toss. Pitcher covering in time. Side retired. A walk. A hit batsman. Two left on. Brookdale coming up for the first time in game two. Scoreless. My name is Rocco Bresniak, third first baseman from Mattawan, New Jersey. I'm currently at Brookdale majored in social science. Came to Brookdale for the great success throughout the years. My name is Nick Lavarco. I'm from Wall High School. I'm a business major here at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. My name is Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. I'm Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher at Brookdale. I went to Coltonek High School. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. Uh, hi, I'm Anthony Martino. I'm from Brick, New Jersey. I'm a business major, and I'm here to try and find a good four-year school. Ryan Schmidt leading off bottom of the first. Anthony Belillo, the starting pitcher, winds the first pitch. It's over for a strike with an off speed, nothing in one. Schmidt, Lavarco, and Bresniak for Brookdale. 11 runs scored in game one today, looking for another big number. A ball and a strike on Schmidt, who had a big game one, going three for three. Three runs batted in, two runs scored. And he waves and misses a ball and two strikes. Everyday Brookdale leadoff hitter entered the day at 297 with the average. He's looking for his first home run, but he now has nine driven in and he strikes out to start Brookdale in the first hey, one away. Oh, 
Eckler one up, one down. Nick Lavarco coming up. Rest of the defense for the Vikings in the outfield. They have Gallipoli, DeMarco, and Barth. On the infield, it's Polonia and Hill on the left side. Laspina and Ushak on the right side. And Paul Mary does the catching. He catches strike one. Lavarco one for three opener today. Scored a run. One and one. Tied for the region lead, seven home runs, knocked in 24 runs this year. Two and one. And Johnny Johnson talking about Lavarco. He's just a lot more confident now in his sophomore year. Takes a big swing and misses strike two. So he had a nice year last year, but feels like he's taken it to a new level. Confident, stronger, branded toward third and under the glove of Polonia, rolling down the line. He's on his way to second. The ball just now picked up by Gallipoli, and that's where Lavarco ends up with one out. First inning meeting, a quick one from Palmieri to Bolello. And Rocco ready with his first at bat in this game. One for four, stole a base earlier today. The stolen base is 11th of the year and he has not been caught. Lillo operating from the stretch. Big swing and a miss. 0-1. Brookdale with the win earlier today. They now have 19 wins and 20 tries this year. It's good for the third spot in the national rankings. A ball and a strike. Now, when you looked at the region standings coming into the day, you actually would notice Brookdale not in first, and that's because of the conference record. Swing and a miss on a high fastball. It's coming in Ocean had actually been unbeaten in conference play, and so they sat in the first spot. But with Brookdale's game one win, they go back in front now. One ball, two strikes. Wasted away, foul. In fact, there's three in the top five in the region that are also in the national rankings. Northampton and Rowan Gloucester, nationally ranked. Gloucester is ranked number one currently. Northampton just behind the Jersey Blues at four. Square off with Northampton for three coming up this weekend. Big series. Rocco swings and misses and strikes out. So Bolillo has gotten his first two out via the strikeout. Two out. So here's Cole. Two for four in the opener. A couple of extra base <coughs> hits. He takes a strike. His triple produced two runs. He also had a double. Three home runs for the year to go along with 25 driven in. Batting average north of 500. Nothing in two. I don't know, by the way, he's stolen 12 out of 12 on the base pads, and he's pitching to an ERA under one. So quite a season for the sophomore. Conference Player of the Week for his contributions in all facets of the game. Lines this one, base hit down the line, a fair ball. That'll score the first run of the game. Lavarco turning third on his way in. He touches home plate. It's an RBI double for Cole, his third extra base hit of the day. And Brookdale's got a 1-0 lead.
Cole's got the RBI total approaching 30 now with a good day today. Devin Smith, second straight start in center field, right hand hitter. And a strike. Smith one for three in the opener, drew a walk as well. For the transfer from Ocean and now a Jersey Blue, they're happy to have him. Called strike two, good breaking ball. So Valello ahead in the count. Hoping that the damage against him is just a single run. one nothing Brookdale. And the dirt, a nice sliding stop by Palmieri to prevent any potential advance. One ball, two strikes. And they got the runner picked off between second and third. The throw and the tag, and they got him. So Brookdale's had a man picked off now in each of the two games, but they are leading on the board 12-1 to one in the two games combined. one nothing after one, game two. My name is Junior Nunez from North Bergen, New Jersey. I'm a cybersecurity major. I came to Brookdale for the baseball organization program. My name is Hunter Serrano. I'm from Manalpa, New Jersey. I'm majoring in business, and I came to Brookdale for the baseball program. Gio Siv from Freeland Barrow High School. My major is criminal justice, and I came to Brookdale for the options. Hi, my name is Andy Osmond. I'm from Jackson, New Jersey, and I, I'm a business major at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale because we ain't losing, man. Hi, my name is Sean Reed. I'm from North New Jersey. I'm a psychology major, and I came to Brookdale for baseball. Brian Gadsford here with you on Brookdale TV. We start inning number two with ball one, just off the corner. Anthony Palmieri leading off for the Vikings. Didn't see him earlier, but he's the catcher for game two. And Zach Sedkowski brings the next pitch, finds the strike zone to even it up. One and one on deck, Jorge Polonia, and then Tom Lespina for Ocean. It's part of the order that did not play a factor in game one today. Popped in the air and out of play. Paul Mary out of Jackson, New Jersey. Jackson Memorial High School. Freshman catcher. Two and two. on the ground and Cole keeps it in front of him and makes the play. Zedkowski covers, second time they've gotten the 3-1 put out and one away. So Jorge Polonia getting the game to a Simon at third base, right hand hitter. And he swings away at the first one and squibs it past the dive of Colbert, and that's a base hit. In the right field, Marco throws the ball in, and Polonia picks up a one-out hit. And Tom Laspina digs in. Second baseman hitting eighth in the order. Strike one. Jersey Blues with a one nothing lead. They have trailed very few times really over the course of the entire season as here's a throw to second and the runner is out. Caught stealing a good throw from Andrews and Polonia is nailed trying to steal second base. Two down. And a 1-1 one, one count. Laspina swings and misses. A ball and two strikes. The 
bases are now empty with two out. Number nine hitter Evan Hill would be next. And he just fouled it at the plate, a foul ball. Tom Laspina at a Point Pleasant, New Jersey, another first year Viking. Facing Zedkowski in a two strike count, the crouch stance, and he leans away from the pitch inside. Two two chop foul. On the ground, right at Colbert. He'll make the play, and the inning is over. So because of the caught stealing, nobody left on after one and a half in game two. It's Brookdale, one nothing. Hi, my name is Kenzo Flores. I'm from North Babylon, New York. My major here at Brookdale is business, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball and for the unlimited academic opportunities. Hi, my name is Anderson Gonzalez. I'm from Western York, New Jersey. My major is business administration. My name is Justin Diaz from Times River South. I'm a business major. I'm here to play baseball. Hi, my name is Mike Mulkeen. I'm from Woodbridge, New Jersey. I'm a business administration major, and I came to Brookdale because it's a phenomenal academic school, and it has a great baseball program. My name is Zach Zikowski. I'm from Wall, New Jersey. I'm a business major, and I came to Brookdale for the baseball. Devin Smith leading off the bottom of the second, a 1-0 Brookdale lead. Anthony Bellello starts his second inning with ball one low, 1-0. One oh. Smith was left at the plate when Cole was picked off between second and third base to end that first inning. 2-0 and oh, as Brookdale put up two doubles and scored a run, lead 1-0. And a grounder fell, third base side. Smith one for three in the opener today. He'll be followed in the inning by Shane Andrews and Dan Cowles. Andrews will be making his first appearance of the day. There is a strike, it's two and two. And it runs full. And the payoff. Toward right center field. Barth coming in. He slides and he made the catch. A fine play in right center field by Carl Barth. He's made a couple of nice defensive plays in the double header today as he takes a potential hit away from Smith. One out. Ball was hit hard. Sinking liner and Barth equal to it. So Andrews now, one out, base is empty, 1-0. and oh. Andrews set out game one, but he's the game two catcher. He's been rotating he with Luca Lamira all season long. One game on, one game off, hard hit, and foul. Andrews, he's contributed well with the bat. A 444 batting average. He's homered once. Six RBIs. Bit of a delay while they retrieve that foul ball. Now he's ready to dig back in. Waiting on a 1-1. Dusted him up and in. Two and one. Three and one.
And down and in ball four, so he works the walk. On base in his first plate appearance today. Brings up Dan Cowles, who took over late in game one at first base. Didn't get a net bat, but he's starting in this one as the designated hitter. Martino not in the lineup for this one. Ball one in the dirt, 1-0. Cowles batting at 250. Six runs batted in for the sophomore inside that nearly hit him. Not have been a surprise if that got a piece of the jersey, but appears it just missed him, so we'll settle for a 2-0 count. Runner off first, Andrews. And wide, 3-0. and Bellillo oh. working himself into a tough spot. Serrano waiting on deck. Brookdale in front, 1-0 early. We're in the bottom of the second. There's a strike. And way out of the zone, ball four, back-to-back -back walks, two men on. So Serrano coming up, and he walked twice in game one today and scored a pair of runs. And it's here with runners at first and second. One out in the inning, facing Bolello from the stretch, his first one, a strike over the outside part of the plate. In tight. So Serrano starting both ends as the shortstop. Very similar lineup from game one to game two today. Only changes coming at pitcher and catcher. Serrano with a grounder to short. Hills got it. Underhands to second one. The turn off the bag. Did they get the tag? No. Safe at first, Serrano. Cowles forced at second for out number two. And Andrews now at third base. So it probably should have been a double play. They had time, but Laspina's throw on the relay was a little bit off target. So runners at the corners, Nick Colbert stands in. Another start in the nine spot, second base. He's been productive. Two for two earlier today, had a double, scored twice. A very steady player. Now he bats left-handed and swings away and grounds one through the hole, a base hit. That'll score a run. Andrews scores. Serrano goes to second. It's an RBI hit for Colbert. He's now three for three on the day. And the Brookdale lead 2 0. There just are not too many innings where this team doesn't put up runs. Got one on the board in each of the first two. Back to the top, it's Schmidt. Pulls it foul. Schmidt had a perfect game one going three for three, but struck out his first time up leading off this game. One run home for a 2-0 Jersey Blue lead. Two on, two out. And a grounder to the right side for the first baseman, Ushak. Does he have time? Yes, just in time to get Schmidt. To end the inning, but one run on the board. Brookdale leads. It's 2 0 after two. My name is Chris Clark. I'm from Tom's River South. I'm a criminal justice major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Hi, my name is Anderson Gonzalez. I'm from Western Union, New Jersey. My major is business administration. The reason why I chose Brookdale is because they have a good academic and athletic career. Hi, my name is Aiden Bayardi. I'm from Union, New Jersey, and I'm a criminal justice major. And I came to Brookdale to work on my education and move further. 
I'm Ryan Cole. I'm from Neptune, New Jersey. I'm a business administration major, and I chose Brookdale to play under Coach Johnson. My name is Chris DiMaggio. I'm from Manalpin, New Jersey. My major is criminal justice, and I came here to play for Coach Johnson. Start the third inning. I'm Brian Goudsford here on Brookdale TV. As Ocean Betts in this top of the third inning, down 2 nothing. First pitch strike to Evan Hill, the shortstop. Vikings send up 9-1-2 and two in the order against the righty Zach Setkowski. Working from the stretch with an 0-1. Letter high, a strike, nothing in two. So Hill will be followed in the inning by Tom DeMarco and Carl Barth. Ahead in the count. And missed with it, one and two. Hill was 0 for 3 in game 1, striking out a couple of times. Starting both games today, it's shortstop. On 1-2, he lays off, it's 2-2. Two and two. Ocean team came in to this doubleheader today, swinging red-hot bats, but Brookdale quieting them a bit. A little bit low to fill up the count. Only one run in game one. They had come in on their four-game winning streak, scoring at least ten runs in each of the four games. And ball four, so Hill on to start the inning. First walk given up by Zetkowski. He's hit a batter, and now he'll face Tom DeMarco. DeMarco looking for his first hit of the doubleheader. He's gone 0 for 4. Branded out to short to start this game. Strike one called. DeMarco is a 350 batter coming into play today. Only two runs batted in. He is not homered. One and one. In fact, we have not seen a home run from either side so far today. Dale held homerless in game one despite an 11 run total. And plenty in the way of extra base hits. There's a strike. It's one and two. Cole had a big extra base hit in game one with a triple that scored two runs. One two pitch. High pop coming over Cole. He should have a play in foul ground and he's got it. One gone as DeMarco retired. And it brings in Carl Barth. Snap to hitless game one with a single in the first inning of this game. He's one for one left hand hitter. Came in leading second on their team in batting average. He cues this one off the end of the bat and foul, strike one. Came in at 465 with one homer and 13 knocked in. Two nothing Brookdale, we play top three. High fly ball, but that should stay up for Ryan Schmidt, and he grabs the out. Two down as Barth retired. And A.J. Pearson coming up. We had a few peaks of sunshine earlier, but it didn't last long. Mostly overcast. Again, chilly. Pearson with that crouch stance from the right side. He hits an excuse me roller out to Serrano at short. And that will end the inning. A walk and then Zetkowski gets the next three. Middle three, Brookdale, two nothing. My name's John Goods. I'm from Rumson, New Jersey. I'm a communications major here. And I came to Brookdale to pursue an academic and baseball career. My name is Christian Simonson. I am undecided. I went to Shore Regional High School and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Hi, my name is Edison Gonzalez. 
I'm from West New York, New Jersey. The reason that I come to Brother for the baseball team. My name is Christian Krause. I'm from Old Bridge, New Jersey, and I'm a business administration major, and I came to Brookdale for its baseball. Bottom of the third inning, you're on the campus of Brookdale Community College. Nick Lavarco set to lead off. Doubled his first time up in this game, scored a run. And one hop to the backstop, 1-0. Oh. So Lavarco now two for four on the day, counting his game one at bats. Brookdale leads 2-0, looking for the doubleheader sweep. And over his head as he has to duck. And it's 2-0. On deck, Bresniak, and then Ryan Cole. So some good hitters in this inning. The two, three, and four batters. Another one in a similar location to make it three and oh. We'll see if Bolillo can throw a strike here. He'll need to. And he misses low ball, four on four pitches. Lavarco on first base. Third walk given up by Bolello and now Bresniak. Struck out swinging his first time in this game. Want to know? Rocco spent last year with Rowan Gloucester, had a tremendous season, was an All American, over 100 runs batted in. And now he spends his sophomore year closer to home here for Brookdale. Pitch running in tight, 2-0. and And that got a piece of him. So he's hit by the pitch, and Bolello having trouble finding the strike zone. He's put the first two on in the inning. And now Ed McCray is on his way out to the mound. Quick visit. So Cole will be next. Ryan had a double in the first inning of this game, so he's got three extra base hits. Adding to what was already a high total. And he hits the first one on the ground, fielded by Polonia. He'll race it to the third base bag to get the force. Cole reaches. And runners at first and second. So a hard hit ball, but Polonia played it well. One away. Fielder's choice goes five unassisted. And it brings in Devin Smith. Hard hit ball his first time, but it went out to the right fielder, Barth. Made a nice sliding grab. And some maintenance on the... Home plate being done. Ed McCray is out to have a chat with his catcher, Anthony Palmieri. So we got a stoppage for some reason. Home plate umpire is standing in front of the plate. Want Bolillo to throw a couple of warm ups. So Smith ready. First and second, one out. Brookdale leads 2 0. And Smith takes one in the dirt and a good stop by Palmieri to smother that ball and keep it in front of him. Bresniak now at second. Cole is at first. Inside and it hit right off his backside. 
So the second hit batsman of the inning. Along with a walk, it's been a tough go for Belillo out there. I'm not sure when Ed McCray went out to the mound if they were concerned about some sort of injury with Belillo and they had him throw a warm-up pitch a little bit later, so I'm not sure if he's dealing with anything physically right now. It's Shane Andrews, the batter. Bases are loaded and the first one inside. Nowhere close. As Belillo continues his struggles finding plate. Resniak, Cole, and Smith, they're all on, looking to add to a 2 0 Jersey Blue lead. Pickoff throw toward third and safe. Andrews worked a walk, scored a run, and that was in the last inning. Hits this ball hard on the ground, got a chance for two to second one, the turn in time. 6 4 3, nicely turned, and the inning is over so Belillo works into and out of trouble and after three innings in game two Brookdale leads 2-0. Uh, my name is Shane Andrews I'm from Oceanport New Jersey and I'm a business major. I'm Angela Friend from Raritan High School and I'm an art major. My name is Dan Coles I went to Colesac High School I'm a psych major and I came here because it's close to my house. My name is Angelo Friend I'm from Raritan High School I'm an art major and I came here because it's the best place to play baseball. My name is Jules Conti. I'm from St. Rose High School. I'm a marketing major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Top of the fourth inning here in Lincroft, Ryan Ushak set to lead it off for the Vikings. Brookdale's in front by a 2-0 score. First ball swinging fouled away off the bat of Ushak, who was hit by a pitch his first time up. Facing Zach Setkowski, the freshman right-hander out of Wall High School. Game two of the doubleheader today. A ball and a strike. It'll be the middle of the order, the four, five, and six hitters with Gallipoli and Palmieri to follow in the inning. Cut on a miss. Just two hits against Zetkowski through his first three innings. And no runs against him. Deals 1-2. Able to hold the swing on a pitch that just missed. Now the count even at 2-2. Two and two. Ushok was 1-2 for two in game one today. On 2-2, two, two, he swings and lines it base hit. Going into left field. So the leadoff man on for the second straight inning. On our way to seven innings in this game two, unless we get a mercy rule earlier. Swing and a miss is Alapoli going after a first pitch fastball, 0-1. On a bounce to Bresniak, gets the added second, the turn by Colbert, in time, double play. 5-4-3 to double up Gallipoli, and there are two out with nobody on. So each infield has now turned a nice double play. And a called strike. Anthony Palmieri granted out to first. Brookdell turned it into a 3 1 put out on an 0 1. A ball and a strike.
fouled away. Jorge Polonia would be next, but Setkowski hopes it doesn't get that far. He's ahead one and two. And he got him looking. Strike three, Palmieri out because of the double play. Nobody left on after three and a half in game two. Brookdale, two nothing. My name is Rocco Bresniak, third first baseman from Mattawan, New Jersey. I'm currently at Brookdale, majored in social science. Came to Brookdale for the great success throughout the years. My name is Nick Lavarco. I'm from Wall High School. I'm a business major here at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. My name is Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. I'm Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher at Brookdale. I went to Colton Eck High School. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. Uh, hi, I'm Anthony Martino. I'm from Brick, New Jersey. I'm a business major, and I'm here to try and find a good four-year school. Dan Cowles leads off the home fourth inning with strike one over the inside part of the plate. The offering from Anthony Bellillo, who's down in the game 2-0. That's the Brookdale lead. Cal's Yanks went down the right field line, but foul. Just a bit too quick. Lower third of the order up. It'll be Serrano and Colbert to follow. Cal's worked to walk his first time up in this game. 0-2. Strike three called. He got him with a breaking ball. So that's three strikeouts for Bolillo and one out in the bottom of the fourth. In steps Serrano. Reached base on a fielder's choice his first time up. One out, nobody on. And it goes off the bat on a half swing, 0-1. did not score in their half of the third. They had only one inning in game one where they didn't score. Put up 11 total, a modest total so far of two runs, but plenty of time to add to it. And that's ripped toward left center field and down for a base hit in front of Eli Santiago. And Serrano takes the turn and has a one out single. So his first hit of the doubleheader. And Nick Colbert, switch hitter batting left, saw him bat from the right side most of game one against the left-handed starter. 1-0. And, oh. and he's working on a three for three day at the play. <laughs> two for two in game one, single his first time up in this one. Serrano taking his lead. And the 1-0. Well, didn't that got a piece of somebody, whether it was the catcher or the home plate umpire. One ball, one strike. Another one straight back. We get a ball and two strikes. Schmidt will come over to retrieve that ball and we'll be ready to hit next if the inning gets to him. Um, I think a, a balk is called as. Lillo faked the throw and that advances Serrano to second base. So he's now in scoring position. And Colbert with a swing and a fly out to shallow center field and it drops a base hit. Serrano had to hold up so he stays put at second. And Colbert, you just cannot get him out right now. Another hit, he's two for two and four for four in the two games total. Here's Schmidt squaring the bunt, gets it down. And the lollipop throw and safe. So 
Schmidt was looking to sacrifice, and Bolillo did not make a good throw. Threw a, did not make a hard throw to first, and so now the bases are loaded for the dangerous Nick Lavarco. A 1-0 count. Although it's an error on the pitcher, and Lavarco already on base twice in this game with a double and a walk. He scored once. High fly ball out toward right center field. Calling for it, Barth makes the catch, tagging at third. Here comes the throw on a hop. It's in time, they got him. Double play to end the inning. Barth with the outfield assist, and they gun down Serrano, trying to score on what would have been a sacrifice fly. Instead, Brookdale has turned aside in the fourth. And on we march to the fifth. It's 2-0, the Jersey Blues. My name is Junior Nunez from North Bergen, New Jersey. I'm a cybersecurity major. I came to Brookdale for the baseball organization program. My name is Hunter Serrano. I'm from Manalpa, New Jersey. I'm majoring in business, and I came to Brookdale for the baseball program. Gio Siv from Freeldboro High School. My major is criminal justice, and I came to Brookdale for the options. Hi, my name's Andy Osmond. I'm from Jackson, New Jersey, and I, I'm a business major at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale because we ain't losing, man. Hi, my name is Sean Reed. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I'm a psychology major, and I came to Brookdale for baseball. Top of the fifth inning, I'm Brian Gadsford on Brookdale TV as we stream live on YouTube for this doubleheader today, Region 19 Baseball. Jorge Polonia, first man up. He grants one to Serrano at short, makes the play, throws a little bit high, but staying on the bag in time, one away. Tom Laspina ready to dig in next. 0 for 1 with a grand add to second. I said Kowski has his first out in this fifth inning, leading 2 0. Runs the fastball inside, 1 0. Oh. 2 0. Deck batter is the number nine man, Evan Hill, the shortstop. Camp 3 and 0. Oh. Sadkowski has scattered three singles. There are no runs against him. And he gets the 3-0 over for a strike, 3-1. and one. Ocean has played considerably fewer games than Brookdale this year, as this one is punched out to shallow right field. On comes Lavarco, and it lands for a base hit onto the grass. So Laspina didn't hit it overly hard, but got it in the right spot for a one-out single. Ocean, this is just their 13th game of the year while Brookdale is playing their 21st. So here's Hill, worked to walk his first time up, struck out a couple of times in game one. And a bouncer slowly hit to third on the charge. Bresniak goes to first with it and makes the throw on target. So two out, runner to second. The lineup turns over. Tom DeMarco looking for his first hit of the day. He's gone 0 for his first six. 0 for 2 in this one on a grounder to short and a foul out to first. In the dirt and blocked by Andrews. Marco came in a 350 batter, but that average going down a bit. Oh. 
High in the air to straightaway center. Right there waiting for it, Devin Smith. And that's the inning. A single and one left. Four and a half complete. Brookdale two, Ocean nothing. Hi, my name is Kensel Flores. I'm from North Babylon, New York. My major here at Brookdale is business, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball and for the unlimited academic opportunities. Hi, my name is Anderson Gonzalez. I'm from Western Union, New Jersey. My major is business administration. My name is Justin Diaz from Times River South. I'm a business major. I'm here to play baseball. Hi, my name is Mike Mulkeen. I'm from Woodbridge, New Jersey. I'm a business administration major, and I came to Brookdale because it's a phenomenal academic school, and it has a great baseball program. My name is Zach Zikowski. I'm from Wall, New Jersey. I'm a business major, and I came to Brookdale for the baseball. Rocco Bresniak leading off the bottom of the fifth inning. Brookdale in front. It's 2 nothing. And a first pitch strike. 0 oh, and 1. Ryan Cole's on deck, and then it's Devin Smith in the Brookdale half of the fifth. Anthony Bolello still out there for the Vikings, and an off balance swing, high pop up, shallow left. It's the shortstop Hill. He puts it away. One out. And now Ryan Cole, a double and a fielder's choice, one for two. Strike over the outside corner. Brookdale two runs on three hits so far. One and one. And intermittently, we've had a dog barking. There's a strike. Don't think the dog was here for game one. One two pitch. Cole with a rocket to left, and that is. Down for a base hit. There was a delay on the call as Cole scoots into second with a double. A laser off his bat. And the left fielder nearly came up with a catch. I was waiting for the signal from the umpire who finally did make it. It was down for a hit and Cole's got a two base hit his second of this game. So he now has four extra base hits in the two games today. Quite a performance. This one is high in the air, but not very far. Shallow right field. Carl Barth for the out. Two down. As Devin Smith retired on one pitch. And the inning left to Shane Andrews. I can't imagine that Brookdale has played too many games here at home where they've gone three innings without a run. in the dirt and trying for third is Cole and no throw. This game certainly moving along at a brisker pace than game one. The pitcher's working with a little bit more pace. There's a good looking pitch for a strike. Two nothing the Brookdale lead. They bat bottom five and a one one count. Andrews takes another strike. One and two. Dan Cowles would be next. Bolillo one strike away from his third straight scoreless inning. Comes one two. And it's lifted out in the left field. Pretty well hit. Going back, Eli Santiago. He has room. He reaches up and grabs it. Out number three. The side retired. A double and one left. To the bottom of the fifth, it remains 2 nothing. Jersey Blues. My name is Chris Clark. I'm from Tom's River South. I'm a criminal justice major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball.
Hi, my name is Anderson Gonzalez. I'm from Western Union, New Jersey. My major is business administration. The reason why I chose Brooklyn is because they have a good academic and athletic career. Hi, my name is Aiden Bayardi. I'm from Union, New Jersey, and I'm a criminal justice major. And I came to Brookdale to work on my education and move further. I'm Ryan Cole. I'm from Neptune, New Jersey. I'm a business administration major, and I chose Brookdale to play under Coach Johnson. My name is Chris DiMaggio. I'm from Manalpin, New Jersey. My major is criminal justice, and I came here to play for Coach Johnson. We go to the top of the sixth inning with Carl Barth to lead it off for the Vikings. It's 2-0 Brookdale in this game two. Zach Zetkowski working on a strong outing, swinging strike one on Barth. He's set to face the two, three, and four hitters for Ocean. Held them to just four hits and no runs. And a bouncer foul, first base side. He's ahead in the count, nothing in two. It's Pearson on deck, and then Ryan Ashok in the sinning for Ocean. Fourth is one for two, single back in the first, flied to left in the third. On 0 2, he swings and fouls this one out of play. And the 0-2. Another one fouled away. I mean, we might have two dogs now. Seems that they're going at it a bit. And an 0-2 count on Barth at the plate. A ball and two strikes. in the air toward left center field not very deep coming in and Schmidt and Smith come together and Schmidt the one to make the catch one away Barth retired and Johnny Johnson on his way out and we'll see if that's going to be it for Zach Setkowski he makes the signal Brookdale will make a pitching change five and a third good innings for Setkowski Brookdale in front 2 nothing, and we're coming right back. My name's John Goods. I'm from Rumson, New Jersey. I'm a communications major here, and I came to Brookdale to pursue an academic and baseball career. My name is Christian Simonson. I am undecided. I went to Shore Regional High School, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Hi, my name is Edison Gonzalez. I'm from West New York, New Jersey. The reason that I come to Brookdale for the baseball team. My name is Christian Krause. I'm from Old Bridge, New Jersey, and I'm a business administration major, and I came to Brookdale for its baseball. It's our pitching change for Brookdale as Aiden Bayardi takes over on the mound and deals with the over-the-head motion. High and away, ball one, one and oh. A.J. Pearson, the batter, looking for his first hit in the two games today. He's gone 0 for 5. Came in a red-hot hitter. 2 and 0 the count. He was the catcher for game one, the DH for this one. Three and oh, so not what Bayardi had in mind coming on in relief. After terrific work done today by Zach Setkowski over his five and a third innings, scoreless. There is a strike. He allowed no runs on four hits, walked one, struck out just one. So he pitched to contact, but effectively so. And that missed the inside corner ball four, and Pearson walks. So Ryan Ushok, dangerous hitter. He's homered three times this year. Has three of the team's four in total and watches ball one. In this game, he's been hit by a pitch and singled, so on base twice. He was on twice in game one also. Brookdale leads 2-0, but Ushok representing the tying run at the plate. And it's lined out to right center field, and that's down for a base hit over Lavarco to cut it off. Wide turn and stopping. 
is Pearson. So two on base in this sixth inning. Santiago will be the batter. Aiden Gallipoli started the game, but Santiago has taken over. And a little bit low, 1 0. Sekowski got Santiago to wrap into a double play. It was turned nicely around the horn. 5 4 3. Be a good time for another one here on 1 0. And instead, it's through the whole left side, a base hit. They hold the runner at third, and now the bases are loaded. Base is loaded, only one out. First real big chance for Ocean in the game, in this game. Anthony Palmieri, the batter, it'll be a lefty to lefty. Bayardi has come in and given up three straight base runners after Zetkowski retired the first man of the inning. Base is loaded, one out, and a foul straight back, 0-1. Palmieri is grounded out and struck out, the only strikeout by an Ocean batter in this game. Bayardi would like one here with them full. Instead, it's hit on the ground short. Got a chance for two, but Serrano boots it. Still gets the out, and they get the double play. And the inning is over. That ball had a chance to be dangerous as Serrano muffed it, but was able to recover, and they get the double play to get Bayardi out of trouble. Bottom of the sixth inning coming up. It's Brookdale remaining with a shutout lead. It's 2-0. Uh, my name is Shane Andrews. I'm from Oceanport, New Jersey, and I'm a business major. I'm Angela Friend from Raritan High School, and I'm an art major. My name is Dan Coles. I went to Coltsdeck High School. I'm a psych major, and I came here because it's close to my house. My name is Angelo Friend. I'm from Raritan High School. I'm an art major, and I came here because it's the best place to play baseball. My name is Jules Conti. I'm from St. Rose High School. I'm a marketing major, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. Bottom of the sixth inning, Brookdale and Ocean. Jersey Blues lead this game 2-0 two, two after an 11-1 win in game one. Their 19th win of the year. They're now 19-1. Looking for the doubleheader sweep before it's off to Ocean next. And strike one as Diaz thinking about a bunt. So Justin Diaz in the DH spot now that was held by Cowles. He's just been a hitting machine this year. Had a base hit, his appearance in game one today. A ball and a strike. Now has 10 hits and 13 at bats this year. So not a lot of at bats, but when he's been up there, it's just been hit after hit. Fouled away. Meanwhile, for Anthony Bolillo, he was on the ropes early in this game, gave up two runs in the first two innings. Brookdale had the bases loaded in the third, but he got a double play to get out of trouble, as this one is hit off the glove of third. Polonia throws, and it's dug out, and the out recorded. So a shock making the play at first, and Serrano will be the batter. Brookdale had them loaded in the third, but they got the double play on Andrews, and since Bolillo has kept Brookdale off the board. Last three innings. One out, nobody on. Back toward the middle, and that will sneak through a base hit. So Serrano's got his second straight hit. And here comes Colbert, and speaking of hit machines, Colbert has been just that. He's four for four, this doubleheader. Two for two in this game, a couple of singles. They've gotten great production out of the bottom part of the order. 1-0. Oh. 
That's what Johnny Johnson was saying. He felt like last year the team was top heavy with the lineup, but this year one through nine, they're getting it done. In the dirt and it hit him. So Colbert's hit by the pitch. Looked like it may have gotten him in the foot. It's three Jersey Blues that have been hit in this game. So back to the top now in Schmidt. A hitless game two after a rollicking game one. Runners lead first and second. 1-0. Schmidt in this game has struck out, grounded out, and reached on an error. That was when he laid down a bunt, and Belillo made a poor throw to first. That one gets by Palmieri, and the runners move into scoring position. Two and zero on Schmidt. It's Belillo will get a new baseball to work with. Schmidt had a two RBI hit game one today. Base hit here could do the same. Brookdale could use a little breathing room. Only in front by two runs at two nothing. Two zero count on the Brookdale leadoff man. And it's taken for a strike. <laughs> Off the corner, three and one. Now Walk would fill the bases and bring Lavarco to the plate. And he takes his swings on deck. Big pitch coming up here on the way. Swung on and pulled down the right field line. Long run and foul. Barth made a run for it, but didn't have a chance to get there. Serrano at third, Colbert at second. And it'll be a payoff pitch from Bolello. Schmidt with a line drive left field. That ball is caught by the left fielder who throws it back in and prevents any run. But now breaking for the plate, Serrano, and he scores. As the ball gets away, a run scores anyway. Colbert winds up at third, and it's 3-0 Jersey Blues. Line drive off the bat of Schmidt. Santiago made the play. Didn't look like initially a run would score, but his throw got away. And Brookdale pounced on it. So now Lavarco, man at third. 1-0, he takes inside. Popped up fell, a ball and a strike. Barco's been on twice in this game. He's doubled and walked, scored a run. Last time up though, flied into that double play. Quite a play made by Barth in right field. A nail the runner trying to score. This one's lashed out to right center field. That ball's down and into the gap in right center. It gets by DeMarco, a run scores. It's Colbert, Lavarco breaking for third. The relay throw will not be made. It's an RBI triple for Nick Lavarco to stretch the lead to 4 nothing. <laughs> so Bresniak 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch. In the dirt. Only 
could be Brookdale's final at bat to the game. Try to close it out in the top of the seventh, leading 4 nothing. Teams will meet in Ocean County tomorrow and then big weekend coming up with Northampton. That's a wild one. Goes to the backstop. Here's Colbert. He slides in, or Lavarco slides in safely on the wild pitch. Another run on the board, and it's 5 to nothing, Jersey Blues. Now base is now empty. Malillo from the stretch. Bresniak with a pop-up. Foul ground, catcher over for a look, but it's out of play. Two balls, one strike. Two and one. And now here it comes. Ball three. Right now. And a strike. Rocco thought he had ball four. Anderson Sanchez had other ideas calling it a strike. So now it'll be a payoff. The base is empty. And it hits him. Another Brookdale player hit by a pitch. That is four in this game. And Rocco has been hit twice. So Ed McCray will make a slow trot out, and we'll see if that's the end of the line. Ed McCray, the longtime coach here of Ocean, took over back in 2012. It's drafted by two major league teams, the Pirates and the Royals. It's not often that you have on a pitcher's line four hit by pitches. Walked three to go along with that, so that's a lot of lack of control. Ryan Cole, one and oh. Cole's been on base all three times. He's had quite a day in the extra base hit department. Two doubles in this game after a double and a triple in the opener. A strike called one and one. Runner on Bresniak was a couple of bruises you would think with a couple hit by pitches he takes off for second pitches inside throw there is late stolen base so Bresniak now 12 for 12 and steals this year Brookdale had only been caught five times all season coming into play today Cole takes a strike two and two is actually the leader in stolen bases with 12 and he has not been caught got a 2-2 count on him with two away and it's in the dirt Paul Mary he's gotten his exercise with Bolello pitching today Now the right-hander will come with another payoff on 3-2. Toward left center field, cutting across, and it's down, a base hit. Round third comes Bresniak to the plate. He scores. It's an RBI double for Cole. Yet another extra base hit. That's his third double of the game. Five extra base hits in total, and the Brookdale lead is 5 to nothing. 
six nothing that is. And we're gonna have a pitching change as Ed McCray will make the change. Brookdale six, Ocean nothing. Last of the six, Brookdale still batting. We'll step aside. My name is Rocco Bresniak, third first baseman from Mattawan, New Jersey. I'm currently at Brookdale, major in social science. Came to Brookdale for the great success throughout the years. My name is Nick Lavarco. I'm from Wall High School. I'm a business major here at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale to play baseball. My name is Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. I'm Vinny Zafaris. I'm a pitcher at Brookdale. I went to Coltonek High School. I came to Brookdale to play baseball, and I'm a business major. Uh, hi, I'm Anthony Martino. I'm from Brick, New Jersey. I'm a business major, and I'm here to try and find a good four-year school. Devin Smith will be the batter against the new Ocean pitcher, and that's Ryan Preston, the right-hander. So Brookdale's biggest inning here in this game, too. They've scored four times. That ball's line. Base hit going down the left field line. Turning third, Cole. He's on his way in. He scores on an RBI double from Devin Smith to make it seven to nothing. And the extra base hits, they just keep on coming. Shane Andrews will be next. So Brookdale by their standards was having a pretty quiet offensive day through the first five but here they are with a beginning with five runs now a seven nothing lead ball one high and away four hits in the inning and the last three have been for extra bases two doubles and a triple two and oh Preston allowed he his inherited runners to score. They go on the book of Anthony Bellello out of the game after five and two thirds. There's a strike. Andrews is 0 for 2 with a walk. He scored a run. He's grounded into a double play. Last time up, flied to left. High pop-up, foul ground first base side. And it's beyond anybody's reach. And the 2-2 pitch. On the ground is short for Evan Hill. He will get Andrews to end the inning, but the damage is done. It's five runs for Brookdale and a 7-0 game to lead to the top of the seventh. Chance to wrap it up when we come back. My name is Junior Nunez from North Bergen, New Jersey. I'm a cybersecurity major. I came to Brookdale for the baseball organization program. My name is Hunter Serrano from Manalpa, New Jersey. I'm majoring in business, and I came to Brookdale for the baseball program. Gio Siv from Freeldboro High School. My major is criminal justice, and I came to Brookdale for the options. Hi, my name's Andy Osmond. I'm from Jackson, New Jersey, and I, I'm a business major at Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale because we ain't losing, men. Hi, my name is Sean Reed. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I'm a psychology major, and I came to Brookdale for baseball. Top of the seventh inning, last chance for Ocean as Brookdale has blown this game open now with a 7-0 lead. Michael Mulkeen will try to get the final three outs, and this one is bounced slowly to short. Charging Serrano, throws on the move, got him. Nice play, one out in the seventh. Polonia retired on one pitch. And Tom Laspina, one out base is clear. He's one for two in the game, singled his last time that was in the fifth. Ocean came in red hot offensively, have been held to just one run in the two games combined. Brookdale has totaled 18. So that's an 18 to 1 
score in the two games today, 1-0 count. This was an Ocean team that had a double header recently where they scored 20 runs in each of the two games. That coming against Delaware Valley, one of the bottom teams in the region. Mokina saved one game this year, but this is not a save situation. Deals a strike. Hugh toward first. There is Cole. He'll race it himself to the bag. Two out. So Ocean down to their final out. Game has moved along well. And it'll be left to Kyle Colands, who will take the at bat here. It was Evan Hill's spot, but Colands, who we saw on the mound in game one, strike one called. So Mulkeen firing a first pitch fastball. Brookdale one out away from a doubleheader sweep and a four game winning streak. Strike two, and just like that, one strike away. Two games today, one tomorrow, Northampton on Friday and Saturday. Doubleheader here on Saturday will be a big one. 0-2 oh the count, the wind and the pitch. Just missed, 1-2. and two. Still a big inning in the fifth. They scored five times to put this one presumably out of reach. And now the 1-2. Stays alive. Olance has five runs batted in this year. He's had 15 at bats. Five hits. Now the one two. Too far away. Two and two. Zach said Kowski would get the win over five and a third strong. Aiden Bayardi worked out of trouble in his inning in relief. Count now full. Mulkeen is two thirds of the way through the final frame. Top of the seventh, seven nothing Brookdale over Ocean. Three and two in the pitch. Fouled away. Overcomes Schmidt with a long run, but he won't get there. It'll be another 3-2. Here it comes from Mulkeen. Bounced foul, and the at-bat continues for Colands. If he could keep it going, Tom DeMarco would come to bat. And Ocean would need quite a furious rally here, down to their final strike and down seven runs. The pitch in there, strike three called, it's over. And that is a doubleheader sweep. A cleanly played game two, a shutout victory, a final mark of seven nothing. Brookdale knocks off Ocean. So after last year, an Ocean beat the Jersey Blues in the doubleheader, they return the favor this time around and knock off the Vikings in a pair of games. So Zedkowski gets the win. Brookdale had some bumps and bruises, got hit four times in this game but use a big sixth inning with five runs to win game two by the final score of seven to nothing. So that's it from Brookdale. A big day from Ryan Cole. What a performance. Three doubles in game two. He had five extra base hits over the two games, and he helped pace Brookdale to another pair of wins today. 11 won the final in game one, seven nothing in game two. That's it from Brookdale Community College. We thank you for listening with thanks to Sergey Kornienko. Brian Gadsworth saying thanks again for watching. So long from Lincroft. Have a good night.